Hello everybody, my name is Nico, and welcome to a game called Coffee Talk by Toge Productions, or Toge Productions. <clears throat> so, I actually, I actually started a profile here because I just wanted to make sure everything was working, but I'm going to make a new profile so we can see from the beginning. So what's my name? My name is Nico! Is Nico correct? No, no. I'm not all the way right in the head all the time. <laughs> So this is a game I found on Itch.io that, that looks really cool. The art style is really nice. It's very reminiscent of Papers, Please, as far as pixelation, kind of like that aesthetic goes. And it's jam. Ooh. I like it. All right. Uh, this started as a game jam game called Project Green Tea Latte, I think, if I remember correctly. Actually, I have the page open up. Hold on. Um... Yeah, Project Green Tea Latte is what it was called. Um, so essentially what this is, it's an alternate version of Seattle, and you play a barista in this alternate version of Seattle. So we're just going to get right into it and see what it has in store. A game by Toge Productions. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. Dot, dot, dot. And have those dreams crushed before they can even begin to be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Writing and game design, Muhammad. That's the end of the game! Thank you for joining me, everybody. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. It's Seattle, Washington. These are really nice opening credits. I like these a lot. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. That's us. We're the strangers. Our memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Alright. I'm down. I'm into it. Coffee talk. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Oh my god, that's the near future! Ooh. What is, is this my counter? Oh, hello lady, how you doing? Welcome, oh, it's you. Hey Nico, how's the night so far? This is Freya. It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem though. Huh? What happened? <laughs> huh? <laughs> my supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Is this so that they can teach me how to make drinks? <laughs> don't worry! I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. <laughs> She's giggling. I'm charming. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. What kind of coffee shop opens up at nighttime? Don't worry, take your time. Oh, I will. I'm a writer, not an editor. I don't know what that means. So I'm used to taking things slow. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh, boy. Writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Beep, beep, beep! Drown your troubles in coffee. I like it. I like that plan. Ah, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. <laughs> and if you forget, if you forget how to make it, just check your phone. <laughs> oh, God. I wish it was like that. I really need that triple shot espresso. All right. I got you. Um, What am I... I don't understand this menu thing. Uh, 
Tomato Chill. Whoa. Friends! I've got Freya, the storyteller, Georgie, the Seattle Police Department. This is the entire Seattle Police Department. It's one guy, just Georgie. And I've got Gala, who's not described as anything. Oh, I have details. Freya, birthday, 29th of January, writer for the Evening Whispers, talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. Friends only, close friends. Oh, we're neither friends nor close friends? Oh, fine, I see how it is. Georgie, birthday, 1st of June, nothing else. Gala, birthday, 13th of September, and today's the 22nd? So Gala's birthday was recent. All right, cool, cool. Home button? Brew pad. All right, I'm, I need to make, that is so many things. Undiscovered? Okay. Espresso, blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Yeah, but so what about that? What buttons do I push? How do I do that happen? How do I make that happen? Uh, buh. Uh, all right, we're just, we're just, coffee, coffee. Uh, more coffee and more coffee? Is that three shots of espresso? Is that the idea? Brew. Did I do it? Hey! Espresso! But how many espressos is it? Is it three espressos? Because she needs three espressos. One cup of triple shot espresso, special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, that aroma. Slurp. Ah, what is that reaction? Exactly what I need. I don't think you need any more caffeine, sis. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? <laughs> yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> What is, what is that reaction? <laughs> um, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. Did she quit her job? What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? The GRA Media, right? Yeah. And they're also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Yeah, I want to know that. Thankfully, he'd seen my short story. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in one month, he'll pull some strings. And get the fiction publishing division. Dot 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 to sign me up for a publishing deal. Alright! That sounds great! Good for you! What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. Uh-oh. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. Oh no! Freya! If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. Silver linings. That was last week. Three weeks! Still decent! Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Err... Yeah... I assume the number of words you have written is not far from zero. It's a whole three. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know? My name... That's it. May I see it? Um, well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. Yeah, I feel that. Dot, dot, dot. So, zero. <laughs> yeah. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan to this guy. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's, I'm a coffee shop owner. That's what I do. <laughs> That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Well, 
<laughs> what can I say? I'm amazing. Ah, looks like someone's coming in. Is this my other friend? No. Oh, hello, lady. Welcome. Hi there. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, we... Oh. I'm digging the vibes. I like it. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Dang it. Foiled again. Not planning to be awake all night. Oh, aren't you, though? Aren't you, though? So definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. I ship it. I ship it. I can stand. Anything with chocolate in it, please. <laughs> what? You are giving me way too much power. Um. So no coffee, she said. So I don't know. The base is going to be milk. We're going to do a milk base. And then. Can I not. Can I not put in cocoa powder? Why? More milk? Why? Oh, okay. I get it. I think it's silly, but I get it. Wait, hold on. Okay, that makes it more bitter. And that makes it more cool. Do you look like you like bitterness? You're drinking... You're drinking... You're smoking a cigarette. So maybe you want more chocolate? Uh, cocoa. Milk. More cocoa. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate? Not hot chocolate? Why isn't it hot? I have so many questions. Can can I latte art? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm having a great time though. It's a swan. <laughs> perfect. I think it's perfect. It's fantastic. Oh, one cup of chocolate again, this! Ah! Uh, I should have looked at my phone! Ah, oh, dang it! It has all the recipes on it. You hate it, don't you? So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend, question mark? Oh, she likes it. Okay, that's, that's cool. I like it. Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now! He went from empty to three customers in one night! I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Why would you go to a coffee shop after midnight? Make your own coffee. I have so many questions. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? No! It's a dumb idea. Definitely not. Yep, what she said. So at least we're aware. Then why? I just love doing it. All right, fair. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm a fascinating man. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? Sea turtles, mate. That's a secret. Nico here is damn rich. That's a secret. Oh, yeah. I've got... A whole dollar. I need to not lose that. <laughs> it's like the only cash I have. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Nico can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. Ah, well. Just you wait 20 minutes. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. I need to find better voices for people. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop because I'm a hipster. That's what we do. Not so many options for that. I'm digging these jams. Oh, ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up. Wow, that's really interesting. <laughs> what kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction! 
You wrote those stories? Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you! I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool! Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be, but I don't even know what to write about. ding a ding a ding a ding a ring a ding a ding Ring a- Hello! Hello! Who might you be welcome? Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there! Can one of them be Canadian? One of them is gonna be Canadian. She's gonna be Canadian. Purple- purple chick is gonna be Canadian. Hello! Hi! Would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? That's not Canadian. <laughs> well, I don't really know what to order. I don't know what I'm doing for this guy. Do you have any preferences, sir? Hello. Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and just some latte art on top. I freaking will. Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Okay. You want a latte. Wait, hold on. How much does this do the do? A dopio latte. What, what's in my recipe thing? What even is here? I need to know. Coffee, milk, milk. Coffee, coffee, milk. A cappuccino is coffee, coffee, milk. I have some serious questions. <laughs> a cappuccino and a latte have the same amount of coffee in them. I'm so confused. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna make a cappuccino for this dude. Italian delight. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I'll make you a cappuccino. Why not? Hell yeah. Draw some latte art on top. Alright, are y'all ready for me to draw the best latte art that you have ever seen ever in your life? Alright, we're gonna we're gonna start like this. Perfect! I love it. It's amazing. It started off as a tree and now it's turned into the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Amazing. Well, well done me. Thanks me. High five. Hell yeah. Here's your order. <laughs> Is that what you call latte art? That's cute. I know. I am cute. Bitch. Perfect. <laughs> what? Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. Is that his name? Bailey's? I was having a nice chat with them. I don't- I don't know how to do Canadian. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. Ah! Neither has my microphone, apparently. I'm Bailey's. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Good. I'm just gonna- I'm, I'm, I don't know a voice for Freya. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Nico. Oh, I know that that's that's Bailey's voice. Never mind. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? I'm sorry, Canadians. Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? Well, hipster work. You can tell by the scarf. I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Buscemi? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Dot, dot, dot. No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Ha ha ha! Come on! He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the This is not at all what this guy would sound like in real life. Oh, of course. And no matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. Sometimes both! That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Ah! Oh, some the best! Have come down, punch you right in the gamma. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Goodbye. Whatever it is I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. Dot, dot, dot. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Who's also Spider-Man. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. I don't know what Canadians sound like. Canadians, help! He... <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Nah, thanks. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. I love you. Please be my friend. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. That is a good life lesson. Complaining doesn't solve problems until you find a solution. You should make a meme about her. I'm turning like Scottish instead of Canadian and lose my current project for a minute of laughter. Ha ha ha! That might be worth it. You should ask Miko here about how to deal with annoying clients. Well, I work with hot coffee, so I just throw some at people. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. That's big brain. That's big brain knowledge. Am I not level? I don't know. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, you have a phone call coming in, sister. Is she drooling? What is happening? What is, oh, that's smoke from the cigarette. <laughs> Your parents. Yeah. Dot, 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 aggressively. What is, why is he glaring at, at her? So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Dot, 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 dot. What is happening? Dot, dot. There's a lot of dots being flung around here. I don't know how I feel about it. They won't give us a chance at all. Is it because... Is it because they're different species? Any... Yeah. Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. Ooh, who's Farron? They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not be able... I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they said about you last night. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, you want to work here? You need a job? I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about the strangers like me. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About her immortality. About how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves will want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Dot, dot, dot. That's exactly what they said. This is, this is like surprisingly topical. <laughs> so this is it then. The end of our relationship. Doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. Dot, dot, dot. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. No! Irish Cree! You'll lose your immortality. 
If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. Oh, Bailey's, you're so sweet. What a good, what a good reproach. I don't mind a bit. Sigh. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me. We can do this together. Yeah, this is, this is, this is deep. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! <laughs> yeah, that's... I don't personally know anyone who's been through this kind of conflict, but this is... This isn't even, like, trying to pretend it's anything else aside from racial discrimination. And that's... You know... It, it's, it's interesting to see it in a game, but it's also a real... It's a real problem, even in 2020, that that this kind of stuff is still topical and pertinent is tragic because, you know, I, I don't want to get into the, the concept of racial discrimination because I, I'm not the authority on that. <laughs> and, but it, I, I hate that it's still a thing that we need to address. It should have been addressed centuries ago. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. Dot, dot, dot. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so, too. Why is this guy, like, smizing at me? I don't know how I feel. <laughs> do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. You haven't even finished your your cappuccino. What's wrong with you? Finish your drink before you order another one. How do I make a green tea latte? Green tea, milk, and milk. Okay. Nice. Green tea, milk, milk. Brew. Matcha milk. Greenness. It's not easy being green. Do you want latte art? All right. Hold on. How do I... How do you do a latte art in real life? I'm a barista. I should know this. Um... There! Perfect! It's a cloud! Do you like clouds? Fuck this. Cancel. I'm not gonna latte art. Oh boy, I'm not good at that. Here's your green tea latte. It's boring as fuck. This is good. Thank you for this. You're welcome, Baileys. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? Well, right now I sure do. I love this coffee shop, but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all people in this whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. He can go elf himself. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Well, you're already halfway there. You're wearing nothing but green. Jacksepticeye. Wannabe. Oh my god. This guy's Irish. His name is Bailey's. And he's wearing all the green. Oh my god. The voice I chose for him is not at all right. Ah, oh, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. And that is where we're going to leave this episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not good with voices. I'm so bad at doing voices for people. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. I'm looking forward to this. I don't know how long this game is. And I don't want to just like not stop because then I'll do like a 90 minute episode cut it off and then do like a 20 minute episode and feel really stupid about it. So I'm just going to cut it off here. 30 minutes is roughly a good idea, I think. Um, yeah, this is this is fun. Uh, it, it's set in a coffee shop. It's got a nice ambiance. It's got the whole espresso latte kind of vibe. But it's also kind of like I'm a bartender. People are like 
having conversations telling me their problems because it's kind of a bar setting as opposed to just a sit down coffee shop. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about this. I love the art style. I love the music. The writing is uh, a bit on the nose, but it's fun. So there you go. Uh, if you want to check this game out, it's available on Itch.io. The full game is, I think, $13, but you can get the Game Jam version, which is much more pared down for free, I think. So, I would encourage you to check this out for yourself. If you like this video, let me know. If you didn't like this video, let me know. If you have any other video games you want to see me play, let me know down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace!